Oh my gosh, I just, I can't even handle it. I just love him so much. I think his head is just a, a, just a fine specimen. <laughs> Good morning guys. I have something exciting to show you. This bookshelf was my grandmother's and I'm really excited. We were kind of inspired to have more antique wood look in our house. Now once we got this um, painting desk for Mary, just like an old secretary desk, and the, like the moment we got that desk, I was like, oh, that bookshelf that my grandmother left to me, I feel like now we have a place for it. And I've been dreaming for probably 10 years about having a space for this bookshelf. Anyways, um, yesterday I went and got it and I think it's beautiful and I put some of my books in there. I love it. Peter got to go, he met his mom and brother uh, about two and a half hours away for like a little outdoor socially distanced family gathering. It was the first time I had ah. seen my mom. As you know, I've seen my little brother because he lives a little closer. Uh, but it was the first time I've seen my mom because of pandemic since last Christmas and it was just really sweet to see them outside and um, <laughs> spend some time with them. It worked out really well because my little brother got a job in California and I'm really excited for him. But we both wanted to see him before he heads out there and so we were able to connect. I was able to get this bookcase and uh, it was a sweet day. Our blue wall shows up differently on camera as it does in person. Let's see. Um. Because the camera like auto brightens. Yes, or it's the same as our grass. Like our grass looks like ne neon <laughs> golf course, <laughs> and it's like kind of like a dull green. <laughs> It, normal it's green. beautiful, yeah, it's but like when I put the camera out there, the camera automatically brightens it, and I ain't <laughs> taking the time to do color correcting on our videos. <laughs> it, the paint color changing reminds me, like you were touring a house, and yes. I was like, oh, the royal blue. Oh, and you were like, it looks really good in person. Yeah, actually, it was. The same day that I toured this house, I toured a house that I think in the end, like the backyard was a deal breaker at that house. It was like a big hill almost, but Mary did not like the dining room and I really loved it because it was, I think it was probably exactly this color. That's crazy. And she was on Marco Polo and um, it had the white chair rail and it just looks really royal in there. Um, but it's just funny a year later we painted our living room that color. <laughs> uh, so when Ollie's CBD oil runs out and we have to open a new bottle, I always like wash out the, well, I do two things. I take the label off the bottle and scrub that. And I take the eyedropper and I wash that and I felt like there's going to be a reason at some point that I need an eyedropper and I thought of it. So when my palette gets all dry and crusty overnight, I can just take some water and add it and then because usually I sit here with my paintbrush and I like soak up the water and pull it over and do it again. Blah, blah, blah. So that'll just make it quicker. Nice. Guys, have I ever told you about the saga of my feet and shoe problems? I have eczema, like skin issue, 
on my feet. I have for all of, pretty much all of my life, which made shoes very difficult. It's dishydrotic eczema, so my feet sweat, and then the sweat makes the eczema worse. Finding shoes that worked for my feet, for most of my childhood, I wore leather shoes. I don't know, there were seasons where I, I just kind of rebel against my feet and wear whatever shoes I wanted to wear, <laughs> but they would often make my feet worse. And so leather gen real itchy, real itchy blisters, like keep me up at night. Tried all the dermatologist recommendations. Some things would help a little bit, but in the end, it all, it felt like nothing really helped. But I think it was like two years ago now. I'm trying to think. We were at Sierra Trading Post. Yeah, we were at Sierra Trading Post, and I came across. A pair of you've probably seen them they're gray they actually they look just like this pair these are navy Ooh. and they're completely wool minus the sole we were like well we've never tried wool shoes let's give this a try and I tell you the truth it has been the best thing since we've ever sliced bread. since sliced bread I don't know but it has helped my feet tremendously, and I almost exclusively wear wool shoes now. Over the past two years, we've found, I think we found some on eBay, and the thing is, they're made in like Switzerland, and they're kind of expensive. And there are other brands, but they, they aren't necessarily all wool. Yes, and there's other, like, I tried Allbirds and didn't like the style. So anyways, all that to say, I'm not trying to sell you on these shoes, I'm just <laughs> telling you the amazing success that we found. Anyways, my favorite pair I got last Christmas, and I wear these almost every day. Uh, they are a little bit of a different style, and as you'll see by the strings hanging off my shoes, they are uh, falling apart. The sole is getting disconnected, and as you can see, it's kind of gross because it's my shoe, but it's literally just like almost a wool sock sewed onto a sole. That's basically what it is. Um, so if you feel like your sole is hanging on by a thread today... Mary is going to help you out. What? I said to Mary, do you think you can... Wow. Sew my... Oh, what? what? <laughs> he said, do you think if I sew this back on, it'll work and I was pretty impressed that you were like interested in no. sewing okay now I want to give it a try well I know you could do it <laughs> I, I would be more than happy to do that so well, could, could I to. could I use just the string that's hanging off and put a needle on it and possibly if we have a needle that has a big enough hole for it okay oh look what we kind of stole this from? Sewing kit from Kim. Oh. But she, I think she knows. <laughs> I think I told her like, uh, I forgot to give you the sewing kit back. That's hilarious. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try to sew these and then when I'm defeated, I'll hand it over to Mary. It's working. That's awesome. This is what I did yesterday while Peter was visiting with his family. I was bummed I couldn't go, but I also knew that was just going to be too much. It would be about five hours of driving, and yeah, I just knew I wasn't going to be up for that. So, I stayed home, and I groomed Ollie Boy, and I love me a Nakey Poodle. I've always loved it. <laughs> so, I used to... Uh, groom him with a half inch blade like it leaves the hair half inch and then I was like I really wish I could do it a little bit shorter so I wouldn't have to groom him as often he doesn't love it it takes a lot of energy on my part so I was like it makes more sense to just go shorter but I was too nervous to go too much shorter I think I ended on three eighths of an inch and that's what I do now um and I like it. I, I really, really like it. it. You can still see his curls. You know, it's not so short that you can't tell he has beautiful curls all over his body. Oh my gosh. I just, 
I can't even handle it. I just love him so much. Ollie, I just love you. So yeah, yesterday we were out on the back deck. I think there's still evidence of the poodle grooming. It's kind of covered. And I, I run out of energy at the end of it. Like I can't, whatever. Okay, so we're out on the back deck. I groom him and then usually he plays in the hose after his grooming. So I took him in the side yard because the grass out back is still trying to like get stronger, I guess. We, I didn't want to like rip it all up with him running around the yard. So we went in the side yard and he played in the hose and then we went for a little short walk. Oh, I was just telling them about yesterday when we went for a short walk. <laughs> but we might go for a longer walk today. You and Peter went for a walk this morning. <clears throat> Is it such a beautiful day? Oh my goodness, when he does this, so he's listening so intently that he stops breathing and his mouth is hanging open. <laughs> are you so excited? You are so cute. I do think he looks cute, even with fluffy hair, but somehow I just love his, like, bone structure. Like, I think his head is just a, a, just a fine specimen. <laughs> No, I just love the way that his head looks. So when I cut his hair so so close and short, I get to see him in his poodliness. Poodly oodly oodly oo. You find it everywhere. Okay, Ollie, we're just really admiring your bone structure. Oh, I wanted to show you. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is good. This is good. I'm glad I remembered this. Well, first of all, I better put shoes on because like I said, the hair outside, it's, it's a whole thing. First, <laughs> are you ready for this? Are you coming out? You can come out. It is, it's almost like we have a rug that is made of poodle hair. I mean, this is what happens. This is all of his hair. Isn't that insane? It usually fills up, see I brought out a bag to put the hair in it's an empty bag. Like, I didn't get any of the hair in the bag. But this is what I was gonna show you. This tomato plant, they are yellow or orange tomatoes, so this one is ripe. And there we go! So there's two here, there were two here, there's two. Um, here's another one up here. Let's see, I know there's a couple that are pretty much ripe. There's one here. That one could probably use a little more time, but I'm gonna take it anyway because I don't want them to like freeze since it's getting colder. There's another one. Oh, can you believe this? There are so many. There are three, four right here, two right here. <laughs> oh, I totally had lost hope. I almost ripped this thing out and I saw tomatoes. Oh, there's three right there. Oh, I hope it holds on. Do you think if we put all the poodle hair in a pillowcase, it would be a good bed for Harry? No, that would smell so gross. Really? You know old poodle hair smells like dirty dog. Oh, old poodle hair. There, you, you, you heard it here, folks. I'm feeling so accomplished right now. Wait till you see this. All right, this, the thread, it was like unthreaded until right here. And I threaded in every single hole all the way to here. And then I tied the string together to knot it right there. And then it's completely attached to the sole now. I'm feeling really accomplished. We are having dinner or lunch out on the deck. It's sunny and nice. And Mary's the blood sugar's low. <laughs> So we're gonna eat and thanks for hanging out with us today. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Don't you think